There's no doubt that the fly fishing in the South Island of New Zealand is simply amazing. Big brown trout sipping dry flies from the surface in gin clear water amongst stunning scenery. But the ups and downs can be brutal. Some days can be a real struggle and some days have the elation of catching big fish. Join me on the last few days of my epic South Island fly fishing trip. This is the third day now and I stayed at some lakes not too far north of here uh, last night and made my way here super early in the dark and had to find this car park which was a bit of a mission but I got here this has got a beat system so I have to park at the beat sign and, and then I fish that beat so I'm gonna do that for the day unfortunately it's quite windy there's a northwesterly wind coming down I'm sort of sheltering behind my, my vehicle at the moment and that's going to make things quite tough uh, so hopefully i can spot some fish still and get a few casts in last time that was really windy on the other river yesterday i had real trouble turning over my flies so hopefully i can figure that out today and get some flies to fish and get a few eats okay well the plan is careful stalking trying to find fish well i see something that is probably a rock I'm not sure if I've seen a little bit of movement on it, so... Oh, it is a fish. Okay, cool. It's moved over further. So one cast. That one cast spoken. Wow. Okay, one cast and gone. Wow, okay. That's going to be difficult. I had a pretty good cast to that fish, the second cast, and... It just spooked. Gone. Yeah. Don't even know why. I wonder if that's a fish there on that front of that rock. It looks like it is a fish. Yep. It's definitely a fish. A decent cast there. Oh, it's a half decent cast, but it's spooked. Too close to him? Honestly, well, it's not going well. Apart from those few fish that I spotted and the odd one that I cast and spooked, I really haven't seen much because there's so much glare, it's incredibly hard to see anything. Downstream wind, it doesn't look like the sun's ever going to come out today because it's so overcast. I don't know, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'll keep pressing on for a while. And See how we go. If I can at least spot a fish or two and get a decent cast in, that would be useful. Anyway, I mean, this river is supposed to be really hard, and uh, you know, if you get one fish, you'd be very happy. But I just need to actually see some more fish. I've been walking for quite a while and just not seeing anything, so. Okay, let's see. Press on. Okay, I've got a fish here, right in the shallows. be a reasonable cast. Get to its side. I don't know where that guy is. Watch the fish. That's coming up to the side here. Going to the faster water. Oh, I just spooked it. Ah! Well, I think it's sensible to admit defeat on this river rather than waste a whole day here. I will better just go and find somewhere else that has some trees or willows or something that has some shelter where I can see. I just can't see into this water. Every time I have a little bit of a gap and I see something, I see a fish and the wind picks up again and it's impossible to cast as well with this wind coming straight downstream. So. Annoyingly, I'm just going to admit defeat, save the rest of the day as much as I can and go and find um, 
a place where I can fish and then somewhere to camp tonight. Well, a bit disappointed about the struggles this morning, but let's uh, hope I can recover from that. I am now again on a, another world famous brown trout fishery, but I've been struggling to find a spot that's unoccupied, so it's been very popular, so every beat's been occupied. The thing is this one will offer me some shelter and some trees uh, to spot against with the dim light, so hopefully I can at least uh, find some trout to cast at. I unfortunately can't see in a lot of places. So I'm just gonna have to try and do some blind fishing. I've just put a dry dropper set up on. Just got a parachute Adams and a size 16. Yes! I got a fish! Oh! Blind fishing worked! I thought my choice bit is a little brownie. What's the first fish for today? I hope I can keep it on. I don't mind little fish at the moment. Ah, oh, the next. Hold it over. <laughs> little is good. I don't mind at the moment. That's awesome. A little brownie. Very cool. Well, that was pretty cool. Don't really mind if I catch small fish all day and there are plenty of bigger ones in here looks like a good likely looking spot does that a dry fly eat? that's awesome another little one but I don't mind got him on the nymph in the end <laughs> Oh well, that's awesome. Day is looking up. Similar size. Try to snaffle the dry. Lovely brownie. Just look at those spots. Absolutely stunning. Okay, I see a fish here. Pretty sure that's the one that ate my dry. And the drift right over him. And yeah, he took the dry. That's a better fish. Nice. Perfect dry eat. I saw him in that ruffle. Ah, that was a big fish. That was a fish. That was a fish I wanted. Ah. Ah. There's a fish that's actively rising in that area by the logs. Okay, that landed roughly where it was last. It's coming to look. Stick the dry. Yes, yes. Now I need to keep it out of those snags. Get it on the reel. It's coming downstream. Feels like a reasonable fish. Keep it out of those snags. That was very cool to watch. Super dry fly eat. Oh. Whoa, massive jump. Okay, it's quite a reasonable fish. I need to keep it out of there. Busted on the logs. Woke up. Ah. Ah. I'm so gutted about that fish. Everything went well. Perfect cast, he ate the dry. He was behaving around here. Then suddenly just woke up, jumped madly and threw me into those little tree stumps there. Broke me off. Gutted, that's two good fish lost today. I mean, the two small ones, I'm very happy this fish is at least there. It's becoming a very tough day. It's late in the afternoon now. My chances are running out to get a fish today, a decent fish. So I'll press on and see what happens. Hopefully I can get one.
Well, I ended up at the next access point and there's anglers just coming back from there, those fishing, so they've been upstream quite a way, so they also hooked three and lost three, so, well, seems to be the theme for today. Oh well, you gotta accept these things when they happen sometimes, it's just a bit of a struggle day. I'm gonna make the most of it, go and find some accommodation, it's close to campground to stay at and have a nice warm long shower and stuff like that. Well, that weather does not look particularly good. Well, it's windy, it's a horrible day, it's gonna be cloudy. I don't know where I'm gonna go. I slept in this morning because, you know, yesterday wasn't a great day struggled yesterday so we'll see what uh, we can get up to today finally made it to the river the wind seems to have dropped it's cloudy but i can see and i'm literally looking at a fish already it's in calm clear water i don't know if i'll catch this one but it's a good start <laughs> better than yesterday well i should have crossed further below just crossing seemed to have spooked that fish Well, that didn't go as planned. I walked quite a distance and just saw two fish. That fish at the start and one more fish that I spooked. And that was it. Really good looking water and it's actually a really nice day, but I don't know where the fish are. I don't know whether it got hammered over the long weekend or what happened, but got to find somewhere else to try and find some fish. As a consolation, I can at least cook myself a nice lunch. Well, I found my next camping spot, which is going to be the next two nights, my last two nights. Conveniently located right next to the river. Well, it's starting to rain now. So I put the big camera away and I'm just going to try to fish a bunch of water through quickly and see if I can pick one or two up at least, because we're handy. If I can, but I probably won't. There's multiple fish rising. I saw that one. Oh, there's many fish rising in this stretch. There might be a bit of a hatch going on now. I can still see him. Oh, isn't anywhere near it. Oh, I think I spoke to this. There's one here, right? Right, it's like right in front of me. I'm resorting to a size 16 flashback present tail. I would have thought it would be a bit flashy for here, but anyway, I have to try something. I'm thinking I'm going to go a long way over for it. It's a decent cast. He took that and I missed him. Okay, I can see a fish. Plus nymphs, no indicator. Okay, let's see if a bit heavier fly does the trick. That should be landed. Okay. No interest shown. Got him. That fly definitely didn't go where I thought it was. Now please stay on. Stay on. Oh, 
Oh, there was one too. Yes, yes, losing streak broken. Oh, and it's a great fish. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes, yes, took the hearing copper. Oh, my goodness, this has been a long time in the making, this fish. But look at what a fish that is. That is just awesome. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Such work to get this fish. He's already ready to go, he just wants to go. Oh, look at that fish, that's just awesome, fantastic. Really makes all the struggles of the last couple of days worth it. So uh, yeah, very happy about that. Well, getting that fish was just absolutely fantastic. So happy after all that struggles. If I can get another one before it gets dark, that would be even better. Well, let's try, but I'm very happy already. It's got really windy now, as you can see. And uh, it's going to make things difficult, but you know, one more fish will be fantastic. See a fish? This is a really poorly placed fence. I have no idea what I'm going to do if I hook the fish. We'll figure it out. Got him. It's a good fish. Okay. I'll figure out what I'm going to do. Yes, it's good that I hooked the fish. Not entirely sure. Oh, I'm I have to go downstream. It is going downstream. down this I uh, don't want to get down I get down on the other side there as long as it keeps going down at the moment I'm alright with that I don't want to go down here I'll bring it down I'll go down the other side of this fence I can get down there's unfortunately snags here I need to go out in the current Come down Okay Yeah, okay. I don't have to go A bit stuffed here yeah. I have to bring it in here. Try and land it. There's roots. Nice. Come on. Yes. <laughs> nice, very nice, very, very nice. Fat hen, beautiful hen, <laughs> lovely. They are so cool, very, very happy about that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Two fish in quick, quick succession. 
nice last look there let's get it away well what can i say i'm a very very happy man now wow how cool is that and then <laughs> this fence obstacle and big high bank and everything glad i landed that fish that was so cool really nice little hen oh, my day is made and uh, two days of struggle is really lifted now Well, it's ended up better than I thought this morning. There's still a lot of dark clouds behind me. It rained overnight quite a bit. Um, don't know if that's going to affect the river this morning, but we're going to find out very soon. The river's just over there. Yep, got one on the dry. I didn't even see it as a little one. I didn't even see that take. I was looking at where the fish might be that I saw I wouldn't have seen a small fish like this it's quite strong though despite its size <laughs> it's pretty cool it was, I was literally looking somewhere else and uh, hook this fish on the dry little brownie took the dry while, whilst I was looking for another fish I don't think I could have seen this fish they're very really hard to see when they're this size. Nice! <laughs> oh, that's a start. Well, there we go. Awesome start to the morning. Dry fly fish. Not sure if I can call it spotted, but um, nice brownie there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, it took the fly without me even knowing what was going on. There's a good fish feeding here with abandon. Okay, took it. That I missed. Well, that was pretty cool. They were rising really actively. That first one took the fly. I realized what was the issue. There was actually a tangle in the fly and it wasn't, it was facing the wrong way. So it would have never hooked the fish. But tough this morning. It's really hopeful with that quick start on the brownie that things would uh, be quite good this morning, but not going so far. Okay, well, there's three fish in this pool actively rising. I can hook one. Let's see what they're doing now. All right, they took it. And it's been a tough day today. Just been bungling opportunity after opportunity. Missing fish, not setting hooks, losing them, striking too early. Ah, quite frustrating. It's turned out to be a beautiful day. At some stage soon, the rain's meant to set in again, so. Well, it's the final morning and the rain has set in. I can't get all my gear wet now, so that's just it for me for the fishing. But it's been an absolutely fantastic trip. Really enjoyed it. And despite the ups and downs, you know, it's been tough at times, but that's how it goes. I hope to be back in the future sometime, and I really hope you enjoyed following along in these videos. If you did, consider subscribing. There's lots of more content coming in the future. And uh, if you don't want to miss those, just hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.